a video that was requested by Joey. <laughs> Um, there's so many funny tangents, but I'm going to stick with it. So, it, incidentally, Joey's asked me to do it like three times. So, Joey, thank you for asking me. And also, it's incidentally one of the only stories to come out of my family cumulatively that's the same. The other one is my birth and how uh, when I was born and I was my mom's firstborn baby. They brought her out to me. They brought, they brought me out to her. And my I was born July 27th, 1981, which was uh, not so incidentally the, for the story, the day that um, Princess Diana and Charles are married. So uh, my mother was watching it on the television in the hospital, Columbia Hospital for Women in Washington, D.C. And the nurse brought me out all eight and a half big beautiful pounds of me and my mom goes can you could you the royals could you bring her back when the when the wedding you know the royals like the nurse should know how dare she interrupt that shit with my ass anyway um, that I came across, so being like the ninja I am, to find news, I just get crazy stuff, and I look up like people that post things, and then because YouTube's deleting so much stuff, I will go to like filter upload date, and this guy, so I have some random ass motherfuckers that I'm finding in basements, like that I follow, because they get some information, but some of them are just like straight up random. A guide to living, I was looking for music by the way, uh, to tell the story about how my mother met my father, or how my father rather grabbed my mom. Uh, a guide to living things that will kill you by Charles Buss. It's like it could be that song from Bar City, but it doesn't sound like it. It's just a song. I was cracking up. I unsubscribe. I need to unsubscribe. Okay, I was looking for Daga Beat Maker. Do 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 do. So that's free hip hop. My father and my mother met in Georgetown in Washington, D.C., where I was born and raised. And fuck yourself now. So my mother is gorgeous. Like, I don't know. And some of the recent stuff that I've been figuring out about my family through my own research. My mom is like fucking royalty. Like a little bit more than I even knew. Now she has dementia. Um, or is doing a great job pretending and protecting herself. Go mom! No, I'm just kidding. Um, so, how my mother met my father. My mother was a teacher at the same high school that I attended, Walt Whitman High School in Bethesda, Maryland. But as I understand it, she was already working at the Library of Congress. By the time she was on a date at a Georgetown bar that may still be open after the pandemic, it's called The Tombs. Very popular. Um, hang out for like Georgetown University students, right? Um, on M Street, like M Street in Wisconsin. Um, maybe on Wisconsin. Anyway, my dad, like his vices in life were vices. When I say vices, I say the things that, you know, people say, oh, this guy drank too much, this guy smoked too much. If anyone wanna say negative about me, uh, she smoked too much pot, whatever. Um, or maybe, no, 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 vices, because what really kind of, women, he was sort of a womanizer, 
if that's what people would say, but I would say um, he had a different experience with women. Uh, what he spent his money on was women, and I guess what he sort of took into his body in an unhealthy way was food. He was like an overeater and that had to do with his generation a little bit. And also his personality, he wasn't a big drinker. So my mom escaped from drinking a lot, you know? The foreshadowing of that is that my dad, for my dad to see a woman across the freaking room, at this time he's like Harvard Law graduate, you know, Mr. Washington, I can't even imagine my dad at his, you know, at his peak, like monster, handsome, killing the game, like he was just such a larger than life person at every stage that I saw him. So preceding my entrance into this planet, which uh, was a um, ramification of this meeting at the tombs. My dad sees my mom, beautiful woman. She looks just like me, actually. Just kidding. Um, she's prettier. She has bright blue eyes. So he sees her and she's on a date with another man. And they both tell the story the same. Everyone in my family tells the story the same. Not that they were there. Like, yeah, they were, all the, they were at the hospital when I was born, like my aunt and uncle. I love Neutrogenetic so much. Um, my dad sees her, and my dad was a force, which I've said many times. He wanted her, and he always told the story the same, which I love, and I had him tell a bunch. And he walked right up to the table where she was, or bar, I'm not sure, or like, I visualize like she was on the date, like at like a high table next to the bar, like whatever, and she said she wasn't that interested in the man, like she wasn't gonna be going on another date with him. But my father walked right up to the table and right to my mother says, do you wanna leave with this guy or would you like to leave with me? <laughs> and I was even like, come on mom, did he like say excuse me, anything like that? Like, and straight up he went beeline to the most beautiful, glowing woman. My mother is gorgeous. And she was like from Texas and like so cute and naive and phenomenal. I mean, she's just, her bone structure, everything. Um, she's so classic and classy. She's a queen. Um, she's a divine diva. Um, but she's the kind of woman that you look, I mean, if you look at her, she's just, even now, being in a wheelchair 12 years or something, 2011, longer, um, her skin is fantastic. Anyway, um, my dad goes, do you want to leave with him or do you want to leave with me? And she's like sweet and polite and looks at him and looks, you know, and I guess my dad said, whoever knows what the words were, but she left with him. And that was that. She told us that she knew before marrying him that he was unfaithful to her. And I know that I was the bun in the oven when they got married. <laughs> um, and then my sister was a surprise because I was born July 27, 1981. My sister, September 2, 1982. So my mom was basically not pregnant for like three months. Um, so that's how I met. And then came me and then came my sister. That was my dad's second marriage. They got divorced when we were like six, seven. And then he married again, a woman named Nancy Zuckerman that changed her name to Niall Cummings and then Niall Zuckerman and then back to Niall Cummings, like, and they were divorced and she was like, I deserve the Cummings name. I'm like, I'm sorry, I didn't know it was so sought after. 
<laughs> it was hell for me to have in high school and kindergarten. From kindergarten through high school, chilled out a little bit in college. I still like, oh, one funny thing. My mom's last name is Cummings and my dad's last name is Cummings. So my mom's Patty Cummings. But people will still say like, like Ashley Cummings, I'm like, yeah, it's not a joke. <laughs> I have to go play with my dogs.